it's a Sunday morning. Now this is a time that people quite often will go shopping, but we're not going shopping. Well, I'm not. I'm going exchanging. I'm going to a free cycle event. This is going to be part of Sustainable Didcot. Now, if you have free cycle near you, get in touch with them. They are seriously brilliant. You want to know why? Come with me and I'll show you. Jane, what are we here for? Okay, this is part of Sustainable Dig Cup. We do yeah. regular free cycles about six times a year. And what it involves is people bring items they no longer need and then people come along and take things that they might, you know, really find a treasure. So there's no money involved? No money, no, it's all free. The whole point of it is to save um, things from the landfill. Because we have this terrible habit nowadays, I feel, of uh, replace rather than repair. And there's always something newer and nicer that we don't need, but we want. Uh, now I've brought some things with me. I'm a bit scared about this, but we are going to we're going to go through the the trolley that I have, which is down here, that might have things in it that might be able to be uh, free cycled. So the whole point is to recycle items, keep them in the, you know, so people don't have to go out and buy new things, just pass them on. For here, yes. this store, we don't take any large pieces of furniture mm -hmm. just because it's just difficult to keep people to get home. And yes. Yeah. Um, and also electrical items because we don't um, test them at the moment. Right. And just generally no rubbish, really. Yeah. We're, not, we're not here to get rid of just, you know, garbage. Yes. We want things that people can swap and carry on using. That people might actually want. Exactly, yeah. And there are so many things that, that go and that people are really happy to get for free. So. Oh, we've got a gentleman who wants to say something. <laughs> what do you want to do? I just wanted to mention that some of the stuff that we've got to do, quite a few kilos of stuff, is actually from the bin. My local bins, I have sometimes that sneak a peek in there and there's sometimes huge quantities of really decent clothes that are not damaged, are perfectly wearable, that someone else might want, but they're in the bin. So they're potentially just going into landfill? They're going straight to landfill, so we're actually saving it directly from landfill. So I just take them all out, put them in the wash, hang them up on the line, take them here, and people want them, people yes. take them. I have, in myself, have recycled numerous numbers of things, yeah. one way or another, and the only thing I've ever taken, actually received via free cycle, was actually, get this, a flatbed scanner. Perfect, working condition, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. If I hadn't taken it, who knows where it might have ended up. In landfill, I wouldn't be surprised. Jane, tell me a little bit about Sustainable Didcot. Sustainable Didcot is part of a larger Oxfordshire project called Community Action Groups. It's partly funded by the council, so each group in different sort of towns and areas in Oxfordshire get about £200 a year to help us with running events and any sort of items that we need to buy, so, you know, like new pens. But obviously, because of cuts at the moment, we're not sure how long this project's going to go on for. I mean, we'll carry on, but it will mean privately funding somehow. So Sustainable Didcot is part of that project. We exist to try and encourage sustainability within Didcot um, residents, really, just to get people to think about things like recycling, reducing food waste. We've just started our own allotments, so that'll be a, like a community allotment. So local residents can come and learn how to grow food, things like that. So we're hoping to encourage that. Also things like looking at local homes and using thermal imagery cameras so we can look at where they're lo losing energy, losing heat, so we can advise them on that, that kind of thing. So that people can, in terms of being sustainable, they can become more sustainable in their day-to-day -day lives. Yeah. As well as you tapping into things like Free Cycle, which is a, is that an international, it's certainly a national movement, isn't it? Free Cycle is a national thing. It's normally like an online thing. When we came to set up the event, we spoke to them and they allowed us to use their name. Other groups in the um, Community Action Group project call them maybe at swap shops or bring and take that sort of thing so you can pick whatever name fits with your area which which you think would work best 
Um, and so uh, how big is Free Cycle in Didcot then? Well, it's getting bigger. I mean, we've only been doing these events for about four years and it's taking a while to, you know, for people to understand what it is, to realise how how frequent they are, that kind of thing. But certainly yesterday's event was brilliant and it looks like people are really getting used to them they understand to bring things if they want to um and or just to come along and take things you know so how much waste did you stop from going into landfill yesterday for the event yesterday it was 200 kilograms which was which is the best yet that we've achieved that's an awful lot of yeah, waste. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? We do we do waste far too much, don't we? Of course, yeah. What sorts of things end up going into landfill which shouldn't be going into landfill? Um, clothes that you can reuse, um, books, CDs, toys, gardening tools, loads, loads and loads of things. So although at the event that uh, Sustainable Didcot was running yesterday at the Free Cycle Stall at, mm-hmm. the, uh, at the market... You weren't taking any electrical goods or big bits of furniture and no. things like that. But you would normally be able to free cycle those, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, of course you would, yeah. And we've also got, on Facebook, we've got a page where people often put, you know, large items of furniture, things like that. Um, and they go, a few months ago, actually, someone put a piano on there and that's gone. So <laughs> That's fantastic, because yeah. it's actually quite difficult to get rid of... That sounds horrible, get rid of is pianos. It? Is it? I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Right, yes. right. I mean, that's the thing. A lot of people these days, a lot of items, they're not really that interested in selling it anymore. They just want them out of the way. Exactly. And it's... Maybe for some people it's just an alternative to fly tipping or going to the tip, you know. But a, l- a lot more ethically sound yes. alternative. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because we're not fly tipping. We're no, not exactly. people who free cycle. You know that your goods are going to somewhere exactly, where they're wanted. Because yeah. as good as uh, recycling is, that if you take it to a local tip or whatever, they'll recycle things. As good as that is, it's still using more energy than it would take to just reuse something. Exactly, you know? so, exactly. Yeah. So uh, good for sustainable Didcot, good for free yeah. cycle. Thank you very much, Jane. You're welcome. Thank you.